with teams mostly in around platinum average. And the team that we're going to be streaming here is going to be Grandview on the left hand side and um, Heartland on the right hand side, I believe. And so, no, I'm sorry, Redbird Esports on the right hand side. Um, the game can get started whenever the teams are ready. Those of you guys joining us, welcome to GG Leagues. We are a recreational uh, esports league in the Midwest area. Uh, we have structure leagues for college and high school players. And this is our Wednesday collegiate division with teams roughly in a plat average. It should be an exciting game. Both of these teams are 1-0 and in the flat division. They're going to be playing each other quite a few times. I apologize for the, um, the looping sound there. We w I went ahead and fixed that for you guys. So the t game should be able to start whenever the teams are ready, and we should get the game underway. Uh, Grandview. Grandview is a university out in Iowa. Um, that's fairly close to uh, Illinois. And then um, Redbird Esports is here in Illinois. And we have our game going. Like I mentioned before, both these teams are 1-0, and so only one team can walk away from this undefeated. They're going to be playing each other a bunch more times throughout the, the season, so this will certainly not be the only time they play against each other. Those of you guys joining us for the stream, welcome. Let me know if you guys can hear me okay. If there's any issues with uh, sound or anything, let me know. So we have a, a vein ban and a cane ban. A cane ban from the Redbird Esports side. Uh, a vein ban from Grandview. Okay, we have a, a Vay Morgana band from Grandview, so this is going to be targeting uh, Redbird's bottom lane. We'll see if Redbird continues to ban out jungle picks. Alright, they have a they have a Udir band, so continuing to ban out the, the jungle picks. We'll see if Redbird, I'm sorry, we'll see if Grandview continues to ban out their bottom lane. Alright, I got a nice Malzahar ban. Excellent. Uh, always enjoyed Malzahar. Malzahar is very uh, nice to play in the mid lane. Just constantly shoves. Got an ult that's always, uh, it's always useful, so. All right, we'll see now with uh, first picks what these teams are going to be going for and kind of what type of composition they're going to play. In Urgot, uh, Urgot in the top lane, a very strong bruiser, good laning phase, um, is a bully in some matchups, and so a very safe first pick. And let's see who Redbird Esports opt to pick into. Nice, a Sivir. I've actually been seeing a lot of Sivirs lately in my solo queue. Um, so the Sivir is going to want to push the lane. Um, fairly safe uh, ADC as well because she can wave clear from fairly far away. Um, doesn't have the escapes like a Vayne or some of the other ADCs, but still does a lot of damage late game with her boomerang bounce. And we have a Sejuani, which is a great... Uh, a great pick uh, as well in the jungle, especially like the new uh, firecracker skin. Maybe he'll actually show it off. I really like the pig that it's riding on, all the little little piglet that comes out too um, when he's doing one of its animations. Karma. Karma's going to probably go into the, the bot lane for Grandview. Going to be able to speed up the team, shield, uh, a very versatile support pick. Nice, an illusion. 
Lucian's gonna gonna want to fight. He's gonna be able to do a lot of damage in the laning phase. And Karma's a very fairly strong um, laner too with their empowered Qs. So um, we're looking for this bottom lane to really do uh, a lot of damage and be fairly aggressive. The Sejuani and Lissandra from Redbird is gonna have a lot of CC. Um, Sejuani, Lissandra, both with AOE CC, and the Silver Alt just gonna just help them run at you so much faster. And so I think Redbird is gonna have a very fun uh, team fight composition to look out for. Okay. So Swain band band away from their uh, Grandview's mid laner. With the support and top lane up, we'll see who Grandview bans. And so they ban the a Nami. Nami is a very aggressive bottom laner, so they're they're trying to prevent the bot lane from Redbird from competing with them in terms of early game power. And Karthus, great. Those of you guys who watched our stream game yesterday, um, Karthus, I believe, was banned uh, in that game as well. So a fairly popular ban. Now with uh, both bans going towards the support of Redbird Esports, and if we think about the first three bans, the Morgana also banned away from the support on Redbird. And so Grandview is giving... Redbird Esports support a lot of respect, um, so we'll see who he or she ends up playing as the support champion. Scion can go to the top lane or the as a support champion. Um, with how oppressive Karma and Lucian is, I'm expecting the Scion to be a top lane pick. I haven't seen a Corky in mid in a while. Um, so, two ADC on Grandview side, the Lucian and the Corky, they're going to be able to take towers fairly quickly. Uh, the burst damage is going to be a little more lacking. Wow, they're going to they're go with the new champion. Okay. Hovered and then uh, swapped over for, for an Ivern. I don't believe I've ever casted a game with GG Leagues that has had an Ivern in it. So I think this will be kind of interesting to see. Ivern is kind of a supporty jungler, going to be able to support the Lucian and the Corky. Um, the Urgot, Corky, Lucian as the three primary damage dealers for Grandview. I mean, that's, I think this is going to be a very interesting uh, interesting game for us. I think just looking at the, the teams, Redbird Esports has a very traditional team with the frontliners of Scion and Sejuani. Um, and then you have Sivir kind of standing in the back, dealing damage. Uh, Redbird Esports has a lot of tanks, Braum, Sejuani, Scion. If we look over at Grandview, Grandview has a lot of damage. Corky, Lucian, very consistent damage dealer. Urgot's a very uh, high damage top laner as well. And they have Ivern and Karma kind of supporting those three. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the fights turn out. The Scion, the Sejuani, and Braum are just going to be able to soak up so much more damage. Um, than Grandview's comp is so uh, I think in terms of team fight ease I would really give this to Redbird Esports you know the Silver's going to boost up their entire team science charging in Sejuani and Lissandra diving and locking people down um, there's just so much to see on Redbird Esports side I'm um, looking over on Grandview I mean Corky and Lucian very mobile do a lot of damage but you can only run away from so much uh, and the, the Urgot, I think, is going to be able to bully the Scion early game. So we'll have to... I think Grandview is going to have a fairly tough time. I think, though, if they come out early, especially with a very strong bot lane, if they jump up to an early lead, they can potentially snowball it before all the tanks come online with all the armor and all the health. But I think, you know, late game, I would have to give the edge over to Redbird uh, Esports. Early to mid game, I think Corky, when Corky hits one item uh, with the Trinity Force, is going to be very powerful. Lucian scales uh, really well the first half of the game. Uh, falls off a little bit, but 
you know, he has a very smooth power curve. Sivir, once Sivir hits three items, she's going to come online and just deal a lot of ricochet damage to everyone. So we'll really see how this uh, list matches up. There's really no assassins on Grandview side who can really jump in and threaten the, the Sivir. Uh, the Lissandra can sit in the back as well, peeling for the Sivir or going in and using her ult to lock down the Corky and the Lucian. Uh, the Corky and the Lucian are going to have to be really careful about their spacing. I think if ever uh, the Scion or the Lissandra can stun both the Corky and Lucian, they're going to do it. And as soon as that happens, there's so much CC. Everyone on Redbird Esports, except for the Sivir, has a CC. The Braum ult, Lissandra ult, Sejuani ult, you know, Scion can charge him with his ult and then use his uh, whatever little charging up stun thing that he has. So it just... There is so much CC on Redbird Esports side. So I think this is going to be a very interesting game. I think Grandview has a lot of mobile champions, especially sped up by the Karma. But they don't quite have nearly as much CC as uh, Redbird Esports. So we'll see how this game ends up playing out. I think theoretically um, Redbird Esports probably has the edge in terms of team composition. But... Um, individual skills still matters and we'll see what happens in the game who jumps out to the early gold lead and who uh, potentially can snowball the game so those of you guys watching welcome um, this is a GG League Wednesday night game in the collegiate division the teams in this division have roughly a plat average uh, some a little bit higher some uh, maybe a tad lower um, this current game is between uh, Grandview on the left hand side and Redbird Esports on the right hand side. All right, let's get this game going for you guys. So, yes, he does have the Firecracker Sejuani. This is probably my favorite skin out of the, the new Firecracker skins. Just, just riding a giant pig. What's not to love about that? All right, game loaded very quickly. Here we go. We'll get all the stuff up for you guys so you guys can um, track all the stats with everyone. Everyone's already in order. Beautiful. So we'll see if we see a, uh, any funny business level one. Nope, you see everyone fanning out. I think they're just gonna go ward up the usual positions. Wow, looks like the, the Urgot is riding the Corky. <laughs> Yep, everyone just going to the wrong position, having a little a little face off. Yep, nothing, nothing crazy. Everyone just wandering or uh, staying put. All right, looks like uh, Ping's going down on the top side of Grandview. Maybe that's where the the Juani is going to go um, after she takes her red. Look at that, just like a, it's like a, look at this pig, it's so cute. Oh, he's got a red eye, it's kind of a, kind of a crazy looking pig. All right, so oh, it even has like a little different, uh, that's a little power up. That's kind of cool. I play jungle at all, Sejuani at all. Definitely, I would get that skin. Um, so I think Silver might have been a little late to lane, but luckily she didn't miss any CS. But I think this is something where Grandview's definitely gonna hit level two before. You see, the Lucian already has cleared that wave completely.
bunch of damage coming down onto the, the Scion, so I'm just trying to farm. Um, is getting some nice trades down onto Redbird. Oh no, this should be so aggressive. Uh, but, you know, I would say that they a little too aggressive there, took a bunch of minion damage. Silver actually has more life, that, or more health than Volution, so she's got the, the health lead. Top lane, the Sion's doing a great job trading into the, the Urga. Nice, good gank. Sion gotta be careful. Good stun. Nice, good. Wow. That was a great gank by the, the Sijuani. The Sion got really low, almost died, but the Sijuani really come into the clutch right there. Korge's doing a lot of damage to the Lissandra. Nice damage from the Volution. The Sivir's going to be able to, to clear under turret uh, fairly quickly. Um, Sandra's getting bullied a little bit in terms of uh, being down on uh, CS. The Sivir is actually up on CS compared to the Lucian, so she's doing a great job uh, despite the aggression that Grandview is putting on in the bot lane. Uh, with that first blood in the top lane, we see that uh, Redbird has gone up on a 200k gold lead. It'd be a little bit higher, but I think they're down on CS kind of across the board. And you see that in terms of Ivern having twice the amount of CS as the Sejuani. Good dodge. And you see the you see the Urgot kind of just like slow pushing the, the wave, letting it build up. Um, wow, Corgi's just so aggressive. Timer's down here near the uh, the bot lane. I think the bot lane saw him with the war, yep. Wow. Grandview's just playing so aggressive here, really trying to contest every CS. Um, that Redbird is doing yet, yeah, despite that Redbird's gone up now. To, oh well, no, it's still 200, uh, uh, 200 goldie. So they're keeping a relatively, uh, relatively even despite this pressure. Um, wow, the Lissandra, you know, has been sitting at kind of like a half or a quarter health this whole time, yet still been able to pick up most of the CS, only down seven CS um, in the mid lane. Top lane. Um, we'll see Sion catch up a little bit because of the huge wave in the top lane that he's going to catch. Nice job. The uh, Lissandra's got to be really careful. Um, I don't think they're going to have be able to kill him because Lissandra's too low, but the Sejuani is really doing his best to try to help out all of the lanes. Um, the Ivern has been waddling, waddling around. Um, I think that Ivern was able to get Scuttle. Scuttle even up yet? Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, so Ivern just gonna go take some camps um, away from the Sijuani. Good gank here. Um, Flash is down, and so I think this is gonna be a dead Sorry. Timely gank, um, right when Urgot was level 6. Very nicely done by Grandview. So Juan is going to be here in the, in the top side. He's going to find his Krug missing. Probably going to be able to just hold uh, hold the lane against the Urgot. And then with that kill, Grandview jumps out to uh, uh, 6k or 600 gold lead. Not the end of the world. So looking around, um, the Porky Cat has a has a cult, so he's gonna be able to catch that in in a little bit. I mean, he's really confident in his laning currently. Um, good little amount of damage from the Lucian. Okay. 
Silver has a BF Sword, Lucian has a uh, Vamp Sep. Um, Lucian's gonna be able to poke, uh, I mean, sustain up a little bit better, but in an all out fight, the server's gonna win. A slight delay on the spell shield there, otherwise, that would have been really good. Grammy now has around an 8k uh, gold leap. A lot of that has just come from the CS difference across the board. Um, bot lane from Redbird has re is relatively consistent. So draw level six. Nope. Now we see a fight here. This is going to be an all in. Nicely done by the Lissandra. I think this Pork might be dead. Lissandra has flash. Nope. Just had her uh, Q come back up. Nicely done by the the Lissandra. That was Corky, despite having a uh, 20 C, almost 20 CS gold lead, a 13 CS gold lead. Um, and I think some of that may have been because the the coal just doesn't give him nearly as much power as all the items that the Lissandra had. Plus, Lissandra level six, extremely powerful. Um, nicely done by the the Lissandra. And so with that, the gold lead shrinks down to 500. But Grandview is still up in the Still up in the lead. Urgot doing his thing. He knows that he's stronger. I think this is going to go down here. Um, clever use of all the, the bushes. I think the Ivern has good um, objective control, so very nicely done there. But Urgot's doing its best to keep the sign away from experience. And you see we see now there's a 20 CS gold difference in the top lane. The sign has to be careful because what the Urgot wants to do is the Urgot wants to prevent the sign from getting any of this EXP. The Urgot absolutely has to the sign absolutely has to stay for that. Because if he loses that big wave. That's a lot of EXP and he's going to be way further behind. So just from this, what I'm saying is that the, the Grandview team is doing a great job with the landing phase. They're denying, uh, trying to deny as much minions and much experience away from Redbird as possible. Um, and for the most part, it's working and that's why they're coming out. The solo laners are jumping out to such a commanding lead. We see Corky up 16 CS despite losing the 1v1 fight. Up in the, the top lane, the uh, Urgot at one point was up to a 20 CS lead uh, as well. The Corky has to be careful, there's a gank coming. They attempted to layer the CC. Um, good flash by the Corky. Uh, if he did not flash, he definitely would have died there. So. Um, Nice job by him. And the Sejuani comes, ganks, and then just goes back to farming the jungle. So um, not losing as much time with that gank and still being able to uh, take some of the most of the jungle. The Lissandra has to be careful now. His ult down. Um, and we see that the Sejuani is doing a good job kind of providing some vision for the Lissandra. The Urgot is just wailing on the, the top lane. The extra turret playing giving him some additional gold. Uh, we see he's up 20 CS. Scion just lost a bunch of minions to the turret as well. And so here the, the Scion is going to be in a, uh, a tough spot. Um, luckily for him, I think as long as he gets tanky, he will be useful no matter what stage of the game. It'll take him a little bit longer to come online in terms of getting his armor items, but he can build straight tank and still be extremely useful. So I, even though he's down a lot of CS, he's luckily only died once, which is exactly what he wants. And so I think he's done a good job with that. Ooh, they're not going to be able to kill him. Nice job by the Scion to be able to absorb the 2v1 pressure. I think he already was ulted uh, as well. Now that they know that the jungler's top side, the bot lane can be more aggressive when we see Sejuani sneaking down here. The Scion is still staying. I don't think he's going to be able to... Oh, he might... Uh, he got a flash out. Wow. Look at that. Got a flash out. 
Good flash. Good flash by the, the Karma. Um, was able to avoid the said the the Brom ult, but the Sejuani still has her ult. I wonder if they're gonna be trying to set up a dive here. Um, that was a great play by the Scion. Uh, I wonder if Scion sees the TP coming in from the Urgot. Probably not. And the Scion's gonna be dead here. Uh, Sejuani was very patient down here. And we'll see if they get the, the kill. They do not. Ooh. The... Oh, the... The Sivran ended up taking too many turret shots and ends up going down. And so that's two kills for, for Grandview. I think it was the right play for the Sejuani to stay fought to try to get them a, a kill and they just unfortunately weren't able to execute and get the kill. Did you guys spam the cast before before he uh he used his ult or, or after? I mean the the more the more uh, the more cats we see, I mean maybe we'll see a nice you know four man ult by by the Brom. And so now the top turret is down. The the Urgot can be able to to move move around the map. Um, the Lucian was able to put a decent amount of damage onto the bot turret uh, as well. Early game definitely going in Grandview's favor. They're up well, three, almost 4k gold. Um, a lot of it's coming from the global gold from the, the turret. Uh, they also have four kills. Um, so I think early game this is going exactly what Grandview was expecting. Here you see a Karma running at you super aggressively. Um, I don't think there's really any kill pressure here. Uh, I think the the ult might have been a little early. The Sandra's caught, but luckily she's able to get out with the gap uh, closer that she has. Now there's four bot. Dragon is up. It's uh, Inferno Drake. Um, so I expect to see both teams um, kind of in this area. Urgot is just pushing top. Sion finds him. Hello. Nice. I think the I think the Ivern is dead. Nice. So Zwani gets a kill. It's two and one. Sivir stays alive. I think they uh, the Grand Blue spot lane jumped on the Sivir. I don't think they should do this. Nope. Ooh. Both of, all of them are so low. This is going to be grand. We're getting so many kills. I think all of them are dead here. I think, Dra I mean, Dragon, I think that was a risky play. People were low. Lissandra does not have her ult. Um, so I don't know if she can do anything about that. I think they're going to still try to beat this Dragon. And we'll see if uh, Grand is able to do this. All right, Lissandra's able to get one kill. A Dragon's so low! Wow. Lissandra was able to steal the dragon. Nice. Wow. I thought Lissandra died before um, being able to steal the dragon, but you know, she did it. She was able to take the dragon, and that Inferno dra dragon is going to be really helpful. Uh, this, unfortunately, is going to be another turret going down to Grandview. Um, so that's going to be more global gold kind of in their pockets. And with that, they're going to be up almost 6k gold. So they've been able to snowball a... 4k gold lead to 6k gold lead now on those uh, on those map movements and so they were able to get killed spot unfortunately they didn't get the the dragon but when the rest of red bird was back in base they were able to take the the mid outer turret and this really opens up the map for them so they can uh get wards down in the top side to kind of go around baron um the bottom turret is really that really doesn't have a whole lot of life uh, either so um, that's gonna be a very easy objective for them to take if they want to All right, that, that ult was um, probably more of a disengaging kind of ult <laughs> yeah 
Yeah, the the iron and all the, the bushes kind of hiding all the the champions that are in there. It's really annoying. Ooh, the Sivers gotta be careful here. Um, Sivers two two levels down, and the Messiah's kind of caught in the backside. Oh, barely makes it out with the ult. Nice job. Messiah right now down two kills, down about 30 CS. Um, definitely is not able to contest against the, uh, the Urgot. I think Rift Hail here is going to be helping Granby to take another, uh, another turret. Ooh. I mean, I understand what uh, the Redbird Esports team is trying to do there. I think they wanted to prevent Rift Hail from being able to take down their turrets. Because um, I think without the Rift Herald, Grandview is not going to be able to push down Redbird's turrets as effectively because Sivir is such good wave clear and Lissandra also has such good wave clear. And so, I mean, that was really the one chance from Grandview to get a bunch of damage down onto the mid tier, uh, the mid turrets, uh, which are the high priority turrets. And so they were able to succeed in doing that. Um, the Lissandra, 2 1 and 1, uh, has. One and a half items completed, similar to where the Corky is. She's gonna get extremely strong. Sivers finished her um, Infinity Edge. Lucian has his Bork. So in terms of items, the big item difference really is in that top lane where we see the Urgot having two items completed compared to just Scion one item. Um, everywhere else, the items are fairly even, um, with the exception of Karma, because Karma has one kill uh, and also three additional assists on the Brahm in addition to all of the global gold that Granby was able to, um, to have. Oh, wow. When, when did this happen? When did Elmhurst take both of the bot lane turrets? Wow, that's great. Didn't even notice that happening. So um, they're only down two turrets. Uh, and so, you know, sure, Redbird Esports is down four kills, but it's 20 minutes now. The champions are getting items. The tanky players on Redbird are starting to get tankier. Uh, and I think Urgot's not going to be able to get away from this. I think this is going to be a dead Urgot. I mean, the lane is just so long. Oh, all right, well. They were able to get the flash out of the Lissandra. The key thing is that the Urgot was worth an extra 700 gold in terms of bounty. Lissandra's teleporting in. The whole team's gonna be here. But they don't need to back it off because they didn't really like that position. Daisy is down. It's still a 4v5, uh, but the signs are very close to down. Wow, what a turn of events. I think. Redbird really wanted that fight. It was a 5v4, but I think the positioning, uh, they were just in a, in a bad spot where they weren't in the right position. Now Dragon's about to spawn in two seconds. Um, this is going to be a highly contested Drake, but I don't think they get there in time. So that's going to be two Infernos going over to Grim. The Ivern has done a great job of uh, farming, of helping his team secure objectives. Weaver of Max trying to get all the, the vision down. Got a lot of fans here in the, in the stream, I like it. Now with the, uh, I mean, there's only been three Infernal Dragon spawns. Corky, I believe, has the, has the package, so I think Grandview, I, I think uh, Redbird is being very careful. Wow, the Ivern's kind of squishy. That was a lot of damage that the, that the uh, Fan was able to do. Lissandra's gonna go try to contest the Urgot. I think this is smart because the Scion is gonna be constantly poked down. 
uh, by the Urgot. The Lissandra with really good wave carrier. More importantly, ranged wave clear can be able to mash the Urgot. The Lissandra also has the most kills on Redbird's team, and so the Redbird team has to really watch out to make sure a very nice uh, disengaging ult. And so I think what Grandview is doing is to just push them off of Baron, making them check and when they don't want to check, and to be able to get a, a pick potentially. Now the Lissandra wants to try to do something here. Oh wow. Nicely done by the by the Zonia. And we see Redbird here contesting. I don't think the Lucian is gonna be able to do too much damage. Daisy is still tanking up the Baron. Baron is at you know one third health. Baron resetting. Oh, the Baron's resetting. I think uh, Redbird was able to successfully push them off of Baron. Also a little too little too late, uh, but they were able to prevent Grandview from getting the Baron. Now with the, the Urgot dead, Lissandra still alive, uh, Lissandra's going to be moving down to try to help them. Wow. Good <laughs> cue by the Sivir. Uh, I think they're just trying to do hard on the, the Baron there. There's a lot of damage that's being done. And in the back line. They gotta watch out. Lissandra's in there now. Kills the Lucian. Alessandra might die. Zonia's already used, so she can't really use it. Uh, but I think the Cork is gonna go down. The Sip is gonna be running around in the middle of the fight. But all in all, uh, a three for three in that fight. And I think if I'm Redbird Esports, I'm fairly happy with that outcome. Especially because of how. Especially because of how uh, much of a lead Grandview had. So let's take a do a recap of what happened in the last few minutes. Lissandra was able to get a kill on the Urgot in the bot lane. Redbird was able to push Grandview off of the Baron. Sivir had a nice snipe of the Ivern with her Q. Urgot teleports back in the fight. And the Urgot is just so strong right now. You see him with three items right now compared to just one and a, I guess a half of the Scion. So this dude is massive. Um, and so as soon as Urgot joined the fight, there was just so much gold advantage on Grandview's side and they were able to, uh, to win the team fight there. The Scion was your checking, kind of caught out in that bad spot um, and ends up going down. I think now because it's a 4v5, uh, Grandview's just going to start with Baron. The Lissandra's on the opposite side of the map, but she's not going to be able to help out. Grandview might, Elmer's might be sitting here waiting for uh, a potential steal. Um, the Dragon's going to do it. Wow, they do it. Wow, so it's a Dragon steal, it's a Baron steal. That's amazing. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, I guess thanks for the leash from uh, Grandview side. Lissandra's still down there on bot lane pushing. Um, someone from Grandview is going to have to go down there. And with that Baron Seal, they're able to close the gold lead to 4k. And so Redbird is still in this game. Without Baron, it's going to be very hard for them to, for Grandview to be able to push. The Urgot's coming in from behind the Lissandra. The Lissandra's probably going to get this turret, maybe even get this bot in him. And so despite the play that they Grandview did in the mid lane, the Sondra's probably still gonna get the first turret. Now with uh, barrened up minions, they're gonna be able to push out uh, Grandview in the mid lane. Scion's coming in. I think, I mean, this, this and hit's gone. Nicely done, Macro play. The Urgot might still die too. Wow. Urgot dies. They, they can still stay here and push. I mean, it's just a karma back there. The karma really can't do much to stop people. They may be able to get an in inhib uh, turret. Let's see what's going down here. Nope, I think they're, they're starting to back up. They don't want to give any more kills. I think they may try to uh, pinch them here. Nice. Lissandra's gonna ult over. 
and good flashes by the uh, Grandview team in order to get themselves out alive. So Lucian's flash is down, Ivern flashes down, Alphurst makes it out with all of their members alive, so a phenomenal play. Uh, with, with that, they're able to close the goalie to around 3k. 3k out of, you know, 46k total gold is really fairly negligible. Uh, Cloud Drake is up. Uh, let's see what kind of buys Elmhurst has. So Lissandra's going back. She's got three items now compared to Corky's two. So now she is the strongest, uh, stronger mid laner. So Juani has War Mogs. Um, Scion is building up towards a, a second item. I mean, things are not looking too bad for um, Elmhurst. Silver is up 60 CS compared to the Lucian. And so despite Lucian having an additional kill, we see Silver now having almost three completed items. And with the Baron buff, they're going to be able to break mid turret. And this is going to be some additional gold going over to Elmhurst's pockets. Wow, we have super minions pushing in the bottom uh, from Elmhurst, from Red Bird Esports side. And so we're going to see them rotate up top. Top has the outer and inner turrets available for the taking. And Grandview is going to have to send someone bot lane. So if I'm Redbird Esports, I'm looking for a 4v5, a mismatch team fight up here in the top lane. Especially if you see Urgot going bot. I mean, Urgot is the most fed person on Grandview's side. So Almaraz has done a great job um, with the map rotation, sending the Lissandra bot to take all of those turrets. Um, really just done a great job here. And we see Red Birdies was trying to, pull, uh, trying to pull the trigger on a fight there, but luckily Grandview knew what they were trying to do and no one got caught there. And here I think we're just going to see them leave. With the bot lane super minion, the Urgot's going to take a while to push. This is going to relieve Elmhurst of a lot of pressure that the Urgot was doing. Um, so I think these next time until... Nice, this is the part that I'm talking about. This is all the CC that's layered on. Illusion just cannot move. They're still going. They're diving into turrets. Um, they just have to make sure that they juggle the aggro effectively, and they do. And so that is the team fight that I was expecting. I mean, they just they just went. The Sivir ulted, the Lissandra missed the, the gap kills, but it did not matter. The Sejuani had the follow-up, and that's the team fight that I think we're going to see over and over again now. Um, there is not enough peel in the world. Uh, the Lucian can get a uh, QSS that'll be helpful. Maybe a QSS and the Kales, and then even then, you know, there's still more CC. Nice, nice strategy with the minion there, and that's going to be a mid in hit going or mid inner turret going over to Umber. Now, uh, little Sandra just being such a bully here. And with that, it's just a 1k goalie, so essentially these teams are even. Early game, it was going towards uh, it was going towards Grandview. Grandview had around an 8k goal lead at one point, I believe. Uh, but with some great shot calling by the Red Bird Esports side, they were able to crawl back to now uh, 500 goal difference. And now we have a pause. Hopefully it's uh, not going to be too long of a pause. I mean, I, you know, early game, I think it went exactly the way that Grandview wanted to play it. They jumped out to an early lead. They snowballed that lead. But Redbird Esports has done such a great job with mitigating the damage that they took um, when Grandview has such a commanding lead early on. Great game is, uh, game is unpaused now. Looking over in terms of uh, dragons, Grandview has two Infernals and a Cloud Break. So they definitely have had more map control with the Ivern. I think now that we're starting to see the builds of both of the Redbird Esports team come online. Silver sitting at that three item spike point. Lucian only has two items. The sign has a Warmoth on top of this tanky item of the Sunfire. Um, I think he's just gonna get harder and harder to kill as the game goes on. 
as the game goes on. I think the game sways more and more in Redbird Esports' uh, favor. Uh, Baron is up now. Luckily, the bot inhib has respawned back for Grandview, and so they're not going to have a wave that's constantly pushing in. And so, I mean, that was really lucky timing um, for them. And then we have another we have another pause here. So thank you guys for joining us on our Wednesday night stream. This is our collegiate, roughly plat level division. The game is between Grandview on the left hand side and Elmhurst on the right hand side. I'm not 100% sure what the, uh, what the issue is. Let me, let me figure out uh, what the issue is for you guys. Pauses aren't lasting um, too long, which is good, but I understand it's not the, it's not ideal. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to figure out what the reason is. Hopefully people are able to get it. Uh, get it Maybe someone's having uh, lag spikes or or something like that. So we're going to listen to Fairy Dance. Okay, this is going in, and the uh, karma just evaporates. The her got maybe caught. Nope. So it was um, a silver ult expended, but I think Lissandra still has her ult up, so they just have to be very careful, Grandview side. Especially around the Baron Pit, which is the small uh, area for the Sejuani ult, the, and the Lissandra ult can hit multiple, multiple people. So with Karma down, I think Grandview is not going to be able to dance around the, the Baron. Um, we have a way of building a bot uh, as well, so I wonder if this is where... Okay, I think Elmhurst is going to go for the the dragon, being fairly confident that Elmhurst is not... or Sandy is not going to go for it. So the sub just cut out a little bit. If the sub just died, I think it's just going to be an issue. He's going to try to tank for the... for the Sandra. Wow, what an altruistic teammate, you know, you see this Adwani position himself right in front of Lissandra to block. You know, my friends are just jerks, they would just definitely have let me die and probably would have laughed at me. Um, Carmo's back up now, but there's a lot of members on Elmhurst that have to back. This gives Grandview an opening to take the Baron. They, I don't really know they have a fast Baron taking team, I guess. I mean, the Lucian with four does do it very quickly. Um, but Lissandra's not going to get there in time, this Adwani is still up and at full life. Oh, uh, the Braum ends up uh, is disconnecting, having some uh, interval issues. Oh, this is such a bummer. Corky gets assassinated back there. The Urgot goes down. Um, so it's still a still a two for two, despite the support of Elmhurst not being there. Well, I mean that was a that was an interesting fight. Um, it was a it was a five v four, I believe. Um, Lissandra here basically solo keeping Grandview off of Baron. The Ivern is not the tankiest person with the item that he has, um, with the Redemption and Ardent Sensor. Um, so he's gonna be very careful. He's not gonna be able to tank up the Baron nearly as long as the Sejuani. Sion is now down 120 CS compared to the Urgot, but despite his limited item, Sion's done a good job of being impactful in team fights, being that front line, 
getting stuns up, running into the fight. So he's done a done a great job of being effective on his champion. The Sivir is up 70 CS. Um, it's got three and a half items. The Lucian has completed three items. The uh, Phantom Dance is going to help him um, survive a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, that QSS is going to be what's really crucial. Um, being able to cleanse the stuns is going to be very important. Let's see this like Juani uh, out. So Juani is just going to... Oh, uh, I think Juani is going to die here. Well, Cassandra is in. Uh, Ivan just goes down immediately. Oh my gosh, just so squishy. Oh my gosh, this does so much damage, and he makes it out. Hero mode, Sivir, so the Urgot's gonna try to clean up. It is the Urgot against the Scion and the Sivir. Nice, wow. That was down to the wire. Uh, you see Ping's going on the bot, on the bot, um, in his turret. Scion's gonna go back and clear. I think they're gonna try to at least get the uh, bot in him. Uh, Silver's just rotating down. Scion's gonna push out mid. What a nice uh, team fight by Redbird. Uh, with that, the gold is still within 500. Nicely done. The Silver just does so much damage with her ricochets. Um, Silver backs off because he doesn't want to end up dying. Because I think if Silver goes down, this is gonna be a free Baron um, for a Grand View. The Lissandra also had a 600, or no, the Lissandra had like an 800 gold bounty, I think. Um, let me see, how did I get like the messages up? Chat. Yeah. Karma gets, uh, Karma gets caught out there. Uh, oh, the Urgot's dead here too. All the CC is going on with the Urgot. Wow. And I mean, I think Redbird's going to be able to get a lot off of this push. There's two exposed inhibs. Wow. I see a flash onto the Corky. Uh, Corky is pushed out. Two open inhibs. You can have minions streaming in bot and mid. Baron is up. Uh, so I think this is going to be... Grandview is going to be very... Put in a very, very tough spot. Um, the Scion doing a good job being a mobile ward there. Trying to spot out for the Sivir. Are they actually going to just go for the Baron? I mean, they're just like one Q away from uh, dying. But, you know, I guess, I guess they know they're champion. Yeah, you gotta be really careful here. Um, I think that's just a deterrent. I think Sajwani might end up dying. You have the Lucian just chasing. Oh, I think Redbird Esports overstayed their welcome there, and I think this is gonna be a free Baron going over to Grandy. They see Lissandra. Good try. The sun is gonna get a turret, I think. Oh my god. Yeah, the sun is gonna get a turret. I think she's gonna make it out, too. So Karma's gonna do her best to try to prevent that. Um, but I don't think they're gonna be able to get her. She's slowed. They're trying. There's a flash. Ooh! The sun is dead. Good try attempting to keep herself alive. I mean, that was really for the Elder. So basically, Lissandra gives her life for the inner in his turret. This is going down to the wire. What a good game. Elder's going to go over to the Grand Um They're going to be extremely strong. They have both buffs, but they have two inhibs down. I, two inhibs down is just so hard for them to push against.
Sivir has a thousand gold uh, bounty on it. Sivir still has a really good amount of wave per. So I think what Grammy is going to do is just let the bot lane push it. I think they're just going to group and try to win a team fight and win the game. Thanks for playing, Daisy. Uh, this wave is just going to die. So with, uh, with the wipe near the Baron, the Baron, and the Elder Drake, Grandview has a 5k gold lead. When there's 70k gold total, this is not a huge difference. Scion has hit 3 items. Urgot sitting on uh, 4 items. But Scion was still doing a great job with 1 item, so... I mean, I think he's going to be just fine with the items that he has. So Lissandra's going to be the person to watch. She's going to be trying to get into the back line to hit the for Lucian and the Corky. Lucian is down a half health just from the Sivir Q poke. Um, the mid turret still hasn't been touched, and that's just the power of the wave clear that Redbird Esports has. Uh, the Lissandra certainly can kill the Corky by herself, so the Corky's got to be careful. Daisy's not going to be able to do too much damage. And we have Elder... I may have very good. Sion's caught a little bit, but it's okay. She can just walk back, heal up. Um, Corky was able to take this uh, spot turret. Nice job with the split push. Grammy did a good job with the strength of all of their buffs that they had, and they were able to even up the, the super minions. They also have position on the top side, and so now they're going to be two sets of super minions, so they're going to actually have the uh, advantage there. Everything is blown up on the, the Karma. Um, Urgot is sitting in the middle of the fight. Urgot is probably going to go down um, as well. It will do a ton of damage, but he goes down. So it was a uh, two for zero, but Grandview was able to get all three of the inhib of Elmhurst. And plus what their mid inhib has respawned. Um, so Elmhurst right now have to answer. They have to use their numbers advantage to go back and retake those inhibs and probably try to take the top one as well. Because right now they have you know, six super minions that are spawning into the base each time, which is just so hard to defend against. This game is still, you know, one team fight away from um, anyone's game. Uh, they're going to have to be very careful here. They don't have their damage dealer, um, only they have Sivir, but they have to be careful. Or got spawning up soon. Lissandra might be on permanent wave clear duty, and they lost an inhib turret too. So with that push, Granby was able to basically even up uh, the base and then some. Baron spawning in the next minute, and I think that that Baron may be what um, will result in a, in a W for one of these teams. So Baron's going to be up in 45 seconds. Um, I'm expecting Granby to start putting wards all in the top uh, top jungle, uh, pink wards all around, vision on the Baron. And then I'm expecting Redbird. I don't know if they're going to be able to contest this or not. Um, but I don't really think they have a choice. I think they got really unlucky here in terms of the timing. Um, with the, or maybe it's calculated by Grandview. If Grandview is able to secure Baron and have Baron empower, you know, six super minions, I think the minions themselves will just do so much damage to the champions on uh, Redbird's side. And so I think Redbird has no choice for the contestant, and then this is Brahma's die, and this is going to be a free Baron that goes over to Grandview. I mean, it was kind of expected. This was very nicely played by Grandview, um, and I think this is going to be a free Baron. So after they get the Baron here, uh, what's gonna, what we're going to have to look out for is um, Tijuani and Lissandra ult. 
because I think if they're able to kill the Lusion and the Corky relatively early, they're able to kind of clean up the rest of the team fight. Um, oh, Redbird certainly still has a chance in this. Um, I think they did a great job uh, clawing back from the very beginning. The mid to early late game was definitely in their hands. I think they ended up overstaying their welcome um, a little bit. And then when they lost all of their champions around the Baron Pit, um, that was kind of the signal for Grandview's comeback. Grandview's going to take this uh, Elder Break as well to make the champions as strong as possible and before this final team fight. Looking at the, the champions, Grandview, most of their champions level 17 or 18. We have a level 15 and a level six and two level 16s on uh, on Redbird side. So I think it's gonna be challenging uh, for them to win this fight, but certainly still doable. You see the Lucian kind of in the back, um, kills the Scion, but it's still gonna be able to sit there and do some damage. Corky stays alive, Lucian is dead, Silver is still alive, but Silver's probably gonna go down fairly quickly. No, the Sivir was able to kill the Corky. The Sivir is still alive. So it's going to be the Sivir by himself holding off against all of these super minions. The Sivir is probably one of the better wave players, so she might be able to do it. Maybe the Sivir against this Urgot. Good job. Sivir still has her um, GA, but this is going to be it. Wow, what a game. 47 minute game. Victory goes over to, to Grandview. Redbird Esport held up a heck of a fight. Um, Sivir did so much damage. Their entire team, um, the Sivir did so much damage. Lissandra did so much damage. Uh, it was just a, a really great game uh, all around. Early on, Grandview jumped out to a lead, and it looked like they were going to run away with it. Redbird had some really sick plays in the mid game and early late game to really claw back, and it looked like that they were going to end up winning, but then... Um, with a few missteps along the way allowed Grandview the opportunity to claw back and so the game ultimately went to Grandview so Grandview goes to 2-0 and o, Redbird goes to 1-1 one one. so we hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the game and thank you guys for joining us on Wednesday night our Wednesday night league is our collegiate uh, roughly platinum average league so we hope you guys enjoyed it um, for those of you guys who don't know us, we're GG Leagues, a recreational esports league in the Midwest. Uh, we have players uh, from college and high school um, who play in structured leagues. Uh, the games are best of ones during the week, and we have an in-person playoff and final for the players get to meet the players they've been playing against all season and to kind of come and hang out and uh, make new friends and play the game that they love in person. And so if you guys would like to join GG Leagues, we'd uh, welcome you to sign up. We're going to be opening registration up for our summer leagues very shortly. So thank you guys so much for joining us. And we hope you guys enjoyed our Wednesday night stream. Tune in at 9 p.m. tomorrow for our collegiate either gold division or our diamond plus division um, for the game at 9 p.m. So thank you guys so much. Have a good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.